I was very much wanting to write a book about Thomas Cromwell. Uh, but obviously the moment at which Henry enters that book mm. is a very crucial moment. And um, Cromwell has already been warned, he's preparing a row for you. Mm. Um, and walks into what he imagines will be a very sticky interview. So obviously I thought very hard about how to introduce Henry, as indeed a novelist must when they roll these great characters onto the stage about which people have so many preconceptions. And of course it's incumbent on a novelist to make her own Henry, mm. to knit her own, so to speak. Uh, grateful though we are to historians who've collected the evidence for us, we are looking to make our our king work in the economy of this novel. Mm -hmm. uh, so, in a sense, it's got to be rethought from first principles. Mm -hmm. But I, I wanted to write about Cromwell. He's fascinated me for years because I'm so interested in this question of, do you make your own luck? Mm -hmm. And how does a certain player, a man from nowhere, which interests me as well, suddenly emerge onto the stage what combination of luck and management brings a certain person to their moment in history? I've always been fascinated through this, by this, and I could, I could see this story working through mm. Cromwell, through his career. Um, I have, of course, another book about him yet to write, mm. because I take my story up to the death of Thomas More. Yeah. But I think the thing about Cromwell is, in some respects, he's a nightmare to a biographer and a gift to a novelist, because his public life is exceptionally well documented, his private life hardly known yeah. at all, and the first 30 years of his life were so very obscure. And what, what it's like, it's as if he's laid a paper trail and at the end of it, he's vanished. Mm. So what must present, as I say, a nightmare to the biographer? And indeed, Elton thought that one could not properly write a biography of Cromwell. Is the great opportunity for the novelist yeah. to, well, proceed on the basis of what evidence we have, use that as a jumping off point, um, a dismaying enterprise in some way because he would like a few more hints. Mm. But of course, I mean, Elton was much more extreme than that. He disapproved biography full stop. Yes. I mean, I'm hardly certain that I'm allowed to say this. This may be my Carol Thatcher moment. Uh, but Geoffrey, I remember vividly towards the end, he was my supervisor, mm. of course. Uh, as I was beginning to knit together what became my dissertation, I said, well, one obvious way in which to put together all of this stuff on the people round Henry, the, mm. the kind of milieu mm. uh, in which Henry operates, would be to write a biography of Henry. This terrible silence mm. fell. Biography. <laughs> biography. Not serious. Leave it to the women. <laughs> yes, because of course Antonio yeah. Fraser just got going right. at that point. Well, uh, and I knew that was that I think is one of the very very interesting things that that uh, there has been this reclaiming of biography yes, uh, yes. over the last yes. twenty or thirty years by very serious, very interesting proper scholars. Mm. You see, the thing is, I think you can understand the point in a way. If you look at a lot of books with Henry VIII on the spine, mm. Henry isn't in... They're, they're life and times. And they're certainly, pure life and times. You yeah. know, if you look at any book with Thomas Cromwell on the spine, he is definitely not in there. Mm. What you have is policies, issues, debates, controversies, papers, again, or the more of the paper trail. You don't have a man. Yeah. I'm hoping by the time you get to the end of your great project, <laughs> Um, we'll be able to look into a book with Henry VIII on the spine, and the man will be in there. Well, that is certainly what I'm trying. Yes. In some ways, Henry is, is he's not quite as difficult as Cromwell, but he is quite difficult. There's nothing, for example, with his daughter, Elizabeth. There are yes. lots of very, very personal jottings. She writes moments of tension, strange yes. contorted poems, prayers, uh, that sort of thing. There's no equivalent for Henry. Uh, there, there, there is a constant process of glimpsing or all the time of course as it were seeing Henry in a mirror 
Yes, the mirror exactly. of other people's opinions and reactions. Yes.